everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making a dog toy and we're going to start that in just a moment. Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making a dog toy. So I'm using some t-shirt yarn. Now I have got a tutorial on how to make t-shirt yarn. I'm going to link it in the description so make sure you check that out. So I am going to do, we need four strands but I want to use my purple twice so I'm going to do three and I'm doing about 30 inches. Okay. And I'm just going to cut those and then I you need to have four strands so I'm just doing another one of purple okay so we'll move those out of the way now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an overhand knot so I'm just going to take these and I'm going to see how I have that twisted around my hand and then I'm going to pull these through the center there we go. So now to tighten up my knot, I'm going to pull every strand tight on the top. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. Okay. Now this is where your clipboard comes in handy. You're going to use the clipboard to hold that in place. Now what you're going to do is you're going to divide up your strands. So here we go. So I put one to the top, one to the bottom, one to the left, one to the right. Now using my left strand, I'm going to make a loop and bring it over to the right. I'm going to take my right strand, make a loop, and bring it over to the left. I'm going to take my bottom strand and put it through the loop I have made on the left. And I'm going to take my top strand and put it through the loop I've made on the right. Now we're going to tighten these all up just like this. And you want to make sure you can see all four. Okay, so. And if one trying to disappear just loosen it a bit there we go so you see that can you see you can see all four strands so let's do it again so we take we divide our strands we take our left strand and make a loop and bring it to the right we take our right strand make a loop and bring it to the left you take our upper and you put it through the loop on the left and you take your lower and you put it through your loop on the right. Now you're going to take this whole mess and start tightening it. This is called a box knot and we're just using this to make the dog toy. It gives it a nice stretch. It's springy. I'm pretty sure that's a technical term. Okay. And see what we're doing? We're just tightening it all up. There we go. See, and you want to be sure you can see all four sections. So see, once again, be sure you can see all four sections. Now you're just going to keep going until you get it the length you want or till you get down to where you think you could um, tie a knot still. You don't want to go further than you think you can tie a knot. So do that and meet me back. Okay guys, so this is as long as I have it and I have this much to make a knot with. So. Again, just like before, I'm going to do the overhand knot and I'm going to pull it tight, tight to my work, okay? There we go. So 
So I want it nice and tight to the work. And then I'm just gonna pull each individual strand. See, and just tighten that up. Then I'm gonna take my scissors and I am just going to, I don't know, leave an inch and a half or so and tidy it up. I'm gonna go to the other side. Same thing, give an inch and a half or so and tidy it up. And there you go, guys. You have made a small dog toy. And it's great for chewing, but also it's a good tug of war kind of thing. And it's not gonna leave all those little threads around your house. You know, you can get these that are made with threads. It's not gonna leave the threads all around your house. And that's why I love making them. So be sure to check that description. I have all kinds of neat things in the description. And if this was of any value to you, please hit the like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye now.